This is the Washington Times front page for Monday, October 18th, 2021. Thanks for starting your week with us. I'm George Gerbo. Colin Powell, the first black secretary of state and former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, has died of complications of COVID-19. The general's family announced the news via a Facebook post saying he was fully vaccinated against the disease and died at Walter Reed National Medical Center. Powell was a key figure in multiple Republican administrations from Ronald Reagan to George W. Bush, from helping lead the coalition victory during the Gulf War to his time as Secretary of State during the war in Iraq, for which he endured criticism for the faulty intelligence used to justify it. Colin Powell was 84 years old. U.S. employers are still struggling to find workers six weeks after enhanced federal jobless benefits expired. Valerie Richardson and Mika Selner report the National Federation of Independent Business reported last week that a record 51% of small business owners had openings in September they couldn't fill. That number is a 48-year high, even though the boost in unemployment benefits ended on Labor Day. The shortage indicates that other factors are at play. Among them are a rash of accelerated retirements, a soaring personal savings rate, ongoing coronavirus fears, and unsettled child care and schooling situations. Analysts agree that the COVID-19 pandemic has triggered a social and economic chain reaction that's caused about 5 million people to drop out of the workforce for a variety of reasons, in some cases, for good. Facebook has acknowledged it allows people to share information on how to immigrate illegally or be smuggled into the United States, saying it crafted the policy to give people a shot at asylum and prevent them from relying on human traffickers. Stephen Dynan reports the company made the admission in a private letter to Arizona Attorney General Mark Brinovich. He sent a letter this summer to Facebook raising concerns about its use by smugglers. In a reply, Facebook said it does try to remove drug trafficking content or posts that promote human smuggling services, but added that people are free to post information about crossing borders illegally. A reminder that you can find all these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. Don't have access to the Times yet? Visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George to get 25% off your annual subscription. Support among minorities for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has dropped over the last few months. Kerry Murakami reports from April to September, black support for Pelosi and Schumer dropped 11 points to 39 percent, according to Pew Research polling data. Support for Democratic leadership among Hispanics also dropped from 64 percent to 51 percent, as well as among Asians from 64 percent to 55 percent during the same time period. The eroding drop approval for Democratic leaders follows party infighting in Washington, gridlock in Congress, and Democratic failures to deliver promised racial justice overhauls of policing and elections. Law enforcement is another spot where support for Democrats is lagging. Jeff Mordock and Mika Selner report rank-and-file cops and unions say they've seen a lack of support from the White House. National Association of Black Law Enforcement Officers Chairman Charles Wilson acknowledged the president's lack of public praise for law enforcement is contributing to low morale at a time of record resignations and retirements from police forces. Some officers say the administration's failure to develop a comprehensive strategy to combat a rising crime rate and support of police reform measures have further eroded morale. And finally, undeterred by sandstorms and merciless terrain, Chinese engineers have announced the completion of the final section of a Taklamakan Desert Railway Loop, billed as the first to encircle a desert. The entire route circles the Taklamakan Desert, the world's second largest, after the Sahara. Trains have emerged as a central component of China's push for domestic control and foreign influence. The new loop allows for greater access near borders with India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And follow us for free on all of your favorite podcast platforms. Just search Washington Times. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WashTimes for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. George Gerbo.